Hey guys, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC, and we're here to talk about hoses and attachments. Um, specifically, those that attach to my dust boots and that sort of thing, so let's uh, jump into it. If you happen to already be one of my customers, then you're probably very familiar with several of my hose adapters. Um, over the year or so, I've come up with several uh, customizations, but essentially it pretty much starts with these three, right? They all go from my, um, I guess, proprietary squared off circle design and lead into either a two and a half, a one and a half, or even a one and a quarter um, with various inside and outside diameters for other size um, hoses. But that's pretty much where I started, right? With those designs. Then I eventually came out with three um, customizable designs. These are specific to uh, certain extractors. For example, for my X-Carve customers, um, this, uh, this adapter here, it's got a certain outside diameter, which is perfect for some cases, but for X-Carve customers, it's got a threaded inside, and this perfectly mounts onto the stock hose that comes with the X-Carve. Then of course, um, I have a Fez tool um, CT26 extractor, and I came up with my own little um, clean tech um, esque design where you basically pop on the uh, adapter, turn it, and it locks it into place right onto a Fez tool um, hose. Then, of course, I've got, um, I was being asked quite a bit for um, Fine. So I've got a Fine Turbo One. Um, but this should work with other uh, fine extractors and, and that sort of thing. But essentially, it's got the two little holes on either side, allows you to snap in and hold on to uh, that type of hose. Then, of course, it, it changed a bit, and people were interested in... Uh, I'll talk about these two first. <laughs> um, then people were interested in uh, having their CNC machines up against a wall or in an enclosure. And the problem was having a hose come out the back of the gantry and up meant there's too much room uh, required behind the machine. So I came up with these two 90 degree hose adapters. They're, they're sort of assemblies, right? They have the, um, I believe it's a one and a half or maybe it's slightly larger than a one and a half adapter on the front. Um, a couple of collar inserts on the inside and then of course this 90 degree turn which basically puts my squared off circle um, instead of coming back from the boot here, it uh, plug this in, plug your adapter in from the top, right? So it gives that 90 degree, gives that really tight connection, um, allows you to push your machine a little closer to the wall. Uh, there are a few couple, uh, couple sizes of that. I've got a small standard one, which puts it out about, I believe it's two inches. Um, and then I've got another, uh, a large, um, size, which actually puts it out three inches um, behind the boot. This is typically enough to clear any, any uh, drag chains or, or that sort of thing that you might have. Um, I understand the uh, X-Carve folks, there are, um, a 45 is actually more ideal for their situation. And if you have one of those, reach out. Um, I'm glad to talk about it. I believe I've designed something for it. I just don't have it in my web store. Um, so. I've got those two, but then I wanted something even better, right? I wanted to be able to quickly disconnect it and using my proprietary, this wasn't designed to be quickly disconnectable. This was designed to be interfaced with a bunch of different um, hose types, right? So it wasn't meant to be plugged into the boot and out of the boot constantly, right? So what I wanted was something that I could do that. And that's where my maglock design um, adapters came in, right? So what I've done is I've taken my super strong um, um, six by four millimeter disc magnets, I put six of them around a two and a half inch circle, and now I have a maglock adapter. In this case, um, it's pretty rare that someone would actually put it into a V2 boot or a V3 boot, but it is very common for people to put it into a V4 or a five where it's in the front of the machine. And the idea is, is you take that, that adapter and the round adapter that goes with it, you install it right onto your, onto your two and a half inch hose, 
And I'll link to um, this UltraFlex hose. I just picked this right up off of Amazon, so you should easily be able to pick it up. Um, and of course, I've got a tight uh, thumb screw on here, a thumb, thumb band clamp on here, but you can use any, tor any sort of band clamp or something that holds that on there. So I've got my, my Maglock um, male adapter here, and I've got my boot um, female Maglock adapter. And whenever you go to actually plug it in, you know, the, the V4, or the V5 will hold your Maglock adapter at a, I believe it's a 30 degree angle. And then you can come up from the top um, down and right into, oops, come on, there it goes, um, right into the boot. All you do is just turn it about 20 some odd degrees and the, the magnets on here are actually pretty strong. <laughs> And the magnets on here are opposing. So, so every other magnet is opposing each other. So three of them are, are positive, three of them are negative, and the same with this face. That means I can create a ton of these little rings. They're all exactly made the same. Um, and then all they do is just turn slightly and it allows you to attach right on there. And of course, this gives a super easy method where if this was on your boot and your boots mounted your machine, there's no reason to unplug the squared off connector. You just give it a twist. There it goes. Give it a twist, then you can do your local cleanup and then plug it right back into your boot and you're good to go. Now, the cool thing about this is, um, is this. Let me jump to another video. So here I am with my DeWalt table saw. This is the DW, uh, I believe it's the 714, I think. Um, and the nice thing is, is the maglock ring literally just plugs right onto it, right? I didn't even need to use glue. Took a um, soft rubber mallet and just hammered that right onto the uh, intake of my job site table saw here. And now it is a maglock ring, right? It, um, it works perfect, super easy. It's completely compatible with the tube as well as um, that device. Now, I've also got my uh, DeWalt planer here. And this one's kind of exciting, but I will probably have to switch to the four inch version of my maglocks, which are coming. Um, but essentially it has the uh, nice little adapter converter piece with my ring on it, um, just plug that in. I can time it at the same time. There we go. And rotate that in, plug it in. Now I don't have to remove that at all. It is there permanently, as as you know, as permanent I want as I want to leave it. Um, and now my ring um, connects right into that hose. And you'll notice, the, again, these are my strong magnets, so it does take a lot of force to pull that off, but super easy, and you can quickly switch between one machine and another. But Daniel, I've already got a boot adapter. Can't you give me something that I can, that I can start utilizing um, the tube or other similar uh, maglock accessories? Um, without having to spend a significant more amount of money? Yes. I have got a, um, a boot adapter or a hose adapter um, converter, right? So this little converter piece, it basically converts your hose adapter into, let me put that together better. Ah, here we go. Into a maglock adapter. So you can have Regardless of whatever you have, a fine, uh, you know, we got the fine here, we got a two, regular two and a half. Uh, let's see, what is the, what, the one and a quarter? Um, let's see, one and a half. Of course, the uh, X carve uh, with its threaded connection in there. You can take any of these um, hose connectors and convert it into a maglock adapter. If you actually have a dust collector, you're not going to want to use two and a half. You want to lose it, use at least five, or I'm sorry, at least four. <laughs> at least four inches, right? So that's where I've basically expanded it out. Um, this is the exact same um, design, same ring style, the same adapter that you mount onto your four inch hose. 
and allow you to uh, mount that ring on a variety of things and snaps right in. Turn it 20 some odd degrees and it pops itself apart. Um, if it didn't want to attract itself, just turn it a little and it pops right on. These rings can then be used on, again, a variety of machines. I've actually got my first four inch um, a cabinet table saw coming in very soon. And I plan to mount this on there so that I could easily switch between using my desk collection system on that table saw or quickly move it over to my um, CNC or whatnot, whatever I want to do with it. Now, the, uh, my version seven boots, I'll talk about that in the next video, but they will um, come in two versions, right? A, a two and a half and a four inch version. So here are the ultimate hose, cl uh, hose clamps, right? They mount, um, I've designed this special uh, steel coupler which I wrap in my, plast in my 3D printed plastic, mount that to an arm that comes in a variety of sizes, all the way up from uh, you know standard, all the way up to, this is what, one inch? I think it's, no, two inches. So you measure it from the base out to where your hose is gonna sit. And in this case, it's two inches. In this case, and on my largest size, that's five inches. So from here, all the way out to the end where the, where the hose will start, um, yeah, it's there. Now this is a modular system. So not only do I have the straight base, and you can see that here, this is pretty much the default base. Most people will need this. If, um, if you need a 90 degree base that is available, you'll notice the coupler sticks right out the back on the standard base. The 90 degree base, the coupler actually sticks down so that your stepper motor, if it's sitting sideways, you can mount this right onto that and have that same length arm. Now the arm length is, is a interchangeable thing. Um, of course you mount it and then it's expected to kind of stay that way. You don't really quick disconnect these, but you can quick disconnect the attachments. So on the attachments, if you've got your arm here, let me switch the one with easier to grab. So this is my XL. I believe this is the four inch length. Um, on here, I have the angled two and a half inch hose um, bracket. That way, if you want your uh, two and a half inch hose to come right down at an angle and then down and maybe into your boot or whatnot, um, whatever it happens to be. It doesn't even have to be my boot, right? I mean, the, this thing is really cool, right? But um, you've got the two and a half inch angled We've got a two and a half inch straight, which allows you to bring the hose straight down. And that just snaps right on with magnets. Use a couple of included um, M5 screws on either side, or even right down the middle to have a really nice, solid, strong connection there. Um, in my case, I usually put the two on the side because I often switch between my two and a half. Um, of course, now I'm putting my four inch into rotation, uh, my four inch hose into rotation. I switch between the two and a half usually and my one and a half, um, which fits the Fez tool hose um, almost perfectly, right? Now, if you've got a hose that doesn't fit either the one and a half, two and a half, or the four, reach out to me. I'm happy to, uh, to uh, try to design something else. I mean, these are super simple. They have a simple base on it, and then whatever attachment it happens to be on the end is what's made. It's interesting, some people, because I do a lot of 3D printing, um, often ask me, well, why aren't you making everything in PETG? It doesn't make sense, right? So this is actually a perfect example of I use multiple materials for their purpose. So in this case, um, I'm using PLA for both the base and the arm. Now, none of this is expected to be in direct sunlight. So there's a caveat there, but, um, because sunlight will literally just melt it. <laughs> but we want nice and stiff connection right on that arm. We want that arm to stick out there and not move. Now, the attachment is another, is another case. We want it to move. So we want these tongs, which reach out and grab onto the hose, to actually flex a little so that we can snap it onto the boot or onto the uh, hose and easily come apart, and we don't want this to break. 
If this was made out of PLA, it'd probably break um, after so many uses, but the way this is designed with PETG, it should work perfectly fine for many, many uses. And of course, many of my hose clamps, um, in fact, all of them, I think I've got a couple of prototypes here on my two and a half inches here, but the ones that you would actually buy will have, will, they will all have a little ring here on the back. And the reason for this is you can either thread a band clamp through that and have a really nice, strong, uh, secure connection. Maybe you're eventually gonna go to a four inch, but right now you're using the two and a half inch hoses. Um, you can get a four inch clamp and then just use a band clamp or something and just grab onto that to hold onto your hose real quick uh, until you're able to upgrade. What the heck does the ultimate hose clamp have to do with the tube? Well, the attachment. <laughs> Um, the tube is a fancy, basically, it's just a short run of, of, of tubing, um, and I'll show you the reason for that in a minute, but if you combine my version 2 uh, or version 3 dust boot that comes out the back, you really need some way to um, quickly access that hose, right? Um, or, or you might. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a properly sized, um, it depends on your setup, will determine whether you need the standard size uh, 90 degree adapter or the longer one. But you're gonna plug this right into the, right into the boot. There we go. And then the tube will basically plug right in to that. And that brings the tube straight up and down. You notice this is actually right around your gantry. So your gantry would be like right here. And then of course your hose and your, and your router sticking right here, runs around. Um, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna have this, uh, this clear tube, you just wanna gently grab it so that it holds it vertical, right? And then whenever you adjust the arms on the boot, the Z arms, since it is manually set, you want that to hold in place while you're adjusting that and then hold onto it. That's where this attachment comes in. This is the tube attachment, <laughs> right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your um, ultimate hose clamp with the tube attachment on the end. And what you're gonna do is this grab reaches out and grabs onto the stepper motor. It reaches out and holds onto your tube, holds it vertical so that when you're adjusting the arms, it goes up and down. Now I've got lots of pictures and that sort of thing that I will share uh, additionally, but those are basically the three components, right? You need a V2 or a V3, you need the tube, you need a 90 degree adapter, and you need the ultimate hose clamp. This guy will, um, when I release um, the tube, I will provide, uh, here later on this afternoon actually, <laughs> Whenever I post the tube on there, uh, this attachment will be optional. You can add it or not. Um, some of you have already purchased the ultimate hose clamp, in which case all you need is the attachment, and then you just switch out the attachment and you're good. I will also add the tube attachment by itself as one of the options on the ultimate hose clamp. So you can either buy it there, you can buy it with the, uh, with the tube itself, um, but it'll be optional. Um, I want to give you guys options. So if you already got something, there's no reason to pay for it twice. I'm not going to force you to do that. Um, just trying to help. Now, the coolest thing, besides of course being able to see in there, right? Uh, the coolest thing about this is it's got a maglock ring right on top. So all you have to do is, whenever this is actually mounted to your machine and it's up and down, that sort of thing, You've got your two and a half inch hose with a maglock adapter on it heading over to your, to your collection system. Now what you can do is from the front of the machine, you can reach over, disconnect it, do some local cleanup in front of the machine, pop it back on, and you're back up and running. Uh, nice, easy, fast, quick disconnect. So yeah, um, that is the a quick run through of every single adapter, hose, um, attachment, uh, the, the bracketing system. Um, so and did that make sense? I sure hope it did. Um, the tube 
is now available in my store. I'll link to it at the bottom of this uh, video for description. Um, the adapters, additional maglock connector things, and attachments like this guy, all of that is now available on the web store. I hope you enjoy it. Please give me comments, feedback, uh, reach out on info at pwncnc.com. Um, I would love to hear from you, hear some ideas. Um, I'm always coming up with these really neat things. So if you really want to um, jump on to a Patreon link, I'll, I'll link it in the description as well. Um, if you wanna provide me you know, a couple bucks every month to help me keep, keep me doing what I'm doing, right? Um, obviously the store brings in some of the money. Um, it's always helpful um, to bring in additional so that I can come up with these really cool ideas and share them with you guys. And if you're a maker with a 3D printer, all my designs are free. And Patreon and all of you guys, all of your support goes to make that happen. So yeah, this is Daniel, um, Pwn CNC. And remember, don't just own your CNC, dominate it.